Hey guys, uh, welcome back to a follow-up of the previous episode. Um, I did just want to show you uh, with the Oris, um, just kind of, uh, it's just a little different between a quartz and an automatic watch, so I wanted to show you something with the listing and just some details that I did add. Um, so anyways, with this particular one, I did say that it is uh, new with tags because obviously this watch has not been worn, just sized. You guys are going to see that in my description in a minute. Include all the features. Um, let's see. The only difference was the movement. For this one, I said if it's, you know, an automatic watch, it's going to be a mechanical automatic. Um, and then I also said, uh, let's see, the uh, number of jewels. This has to do with the number of rubies that are in the automatic movement. So it has 26. It's more than 23. Um, sorry, I just took that one off. So let's do that. More than 23. Um, and then, yeah. And then for this one, I know that this one, the country, region, and manufacturer, Switzerland. So I included that in. So I just wanted to give you guys just some of the details of this. Um, introducing this handsome Oris Atelier date watch. This timepiece would make an excellent gift for you or someone special in your life. Brand new, never worn, just sized. Please check out all my high definition photos to see the condition for yourself. All functions work properly. This timepiece features, time features a 40.5 millimeter stainless steel case with stainless steel bracelet, which is comfortable on any wrist. Oris Caliber 733 automatic self-winding movement. It's a Salida-based SW-200-1. Uh, this watch can be wound with the crown or wind itself with the movement of your wrist. Never need it to change a battery, because it's true with this one. Uh, power reserve of 38 hours. Easily readable blue hands, arrow markings and seconds hand. Scratch-resistant anti-reflective sapphire, sapphire crystal, exhibition case back to view the movement with signature Oris red rotor, which is true. Uh, I just want to show you guys that before uh, we do anything else. Uh, that one is right here. You guys can see the red rotor. That's the signature of Oris. Um, so we have stamped crown and band, push-pull crown with dual deployment band, same thing on the Gucci, water resistant up to 5 ATM, comes with all links, boxes, and paperwork, truly an excellent package, can truly be worn as a dress piece or an everyday piece, that's the same thing as what I said before. Um, the only thing that I did add was this, um, I said payment expected within three days, 72 hours of auction end. Item will be shipped out this Saturday, the week the auction ends, with tracking included. Now I've never, I uh, just wanted to, just as a little thing, I just want to let you guys that know that I have never ever before said those things within uh, an auction listing, but it is important. I'm ending the auction on a Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so I, pay, I expect payment to be within three days, and I gave everyone um, the heads up that like, you know, listen, with my work schedule, I'm not able to ship the watch out because, you know, theoretically, the, the post office is really closed when I would want to go to it. Um, so I said it will be shipped out the Saturday of the week the auction ends with tracking included. Now, if they do not make payment by that time, I would open up a case, get it settled from there, get the payment, and then I would have to write them an email saying, because you didn't pay within that certain amount of time, it's going to have to be shipped out the next weekend. Um, so I kind of just changed the details um, with this. I said the handling time, three business days. You guys can always go in to uh, this option right here to say change and you guys could say change anything I said handling time three business days um, so everything is now pretty good with that um, I just wanted to do a quick brief little video uh, with that um, now obviously I'm clicking list it and it's going to be going through and, and I could show you guys you know this listing or whatever it doesn't really matter um, so Again, for the Oris, here's the listing for this. Here we go. It's the same thing as before. Uh, just a few other details with all the pictures. Uh, I'll scroll through these just very, very quickly just to give you an idea. Um, just really nice, beautiful, almost professional-looking photos. Um, it's just a little different because it's an automatic watch, hence why you guys uh, saw this slightly different description. Uh, this watch should obviously go for a lot more than uh, what the Gucci is going to be going for. But again, it's the same thing. This one I'm saying new with tags because I never wore this one, just sized it. 
but I did make the, um, again, you have to be as detailed in the description as possible for the eBay money back guarantee. I did say that um, uh, brand new, never worn, just sized right over there. Because it's true. I never, never wore it, just sized it. So anyways, that concludes this portion of the video. Uh, I will continue to do uh, some other updates. Uh, I'm going to make this little mini episode. The I think it's we're up to number 78. So I'm going to make episode number 78 for the last one, number 78.5 for this episode because I don't feel like splicing the videos together. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I could do it through YouTube. I don't know. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed these last two videos. Hope it was very informative. Guys, don't forget, like, subscribe, comments below. Anything you guys want to get in contact with us, don't hesitate to ask. If you guys ever need help with selling a watch, let us know. We'll help you guys out with it. Um, see you guys on the next episode of It's About Time.